Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, we have to talk about Ubisoft again. So, uh, disclaimer, I am personally invested in the Ubisoft uh, and Ubisoft Entertainment. So, guys, what happened? 5.02% uh, down uh, and, uh, in, in Europe. So, in Euros, so 1.445 1 Euros down. So, and here you see the chart, my friends. So, so let's 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 zoom out this is the overall chart you would say yeah mr orange this looks terrible and i say yeah of course this looks terrible because we were coming back to the uh, let's say roundabout 29 30 fibonacci retracement and it seems we were not managing to break out over this Fibonacci retracement. We didn't manage this. And tomorrow is LVMH uh, is opening. They had also some uh, results. LVMH uh, also in Paris uh, traded at the stock exchange and uh, and the CAC 40 and uh, yeah, LVMH might also pull down a bit the French stock market today and this could affect uh, Ubisoft and uh, further more. <laughs> so guys, all right, so look at this. I mean, this is a very, very important, important line here, this Fibonacci retracement. And if we manage to be uh, consistent, consistently over it, I am very more positive. But looking now at this, I would say, hey, everything's possible. So it's definitely possible that we go back to 24, 5 euros or even even lower. So all of this is possible. But of course, it depends a little bit on the overall market circumstances, on the macroeconomics. So it's not only the stock. It's not only the stock. And now, guys, you are asking yourself, so what is the reason? What is the reason? So then we check out uh, this press release from Reuters. So Ubisoft slums after it delays pre-season launch of X Defiant. So X Defiant is the new free-to-play first-person shooter game delayed indefinitely. Delayed indefinitely, the pre-season launch of the title on Monday. So indefinitely so it's just delayed it's just delayed so as it seems there's not really now a, a date when it's coming out so and it was supposed to come out so the team cites so inconsistencies in the game experience that need to be tackled before the launch in a post of social media platform blah 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 alpha value analyst valentin mori says the postponement seems like negative news so <laughs> seriously dude has hopes for a late october launch had been building up. So Mori adds, this news could look like another delay and dent the fragile confidence that the prepayment for the launch of Assassin's Creed Mirage had begun to restore. So chairs are on track for the worst day since January the 12th and sit at the bottom of Europe's stocks 600 index. Oh la la, oh la la, mon dieu. So it's really bad, guys. So that's the Euronext. It's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. So, and hey, I'm actually now also with the LVMH news tomorrow. So I think there's a huge prob probability that uh, we see actually a lower price. And why I'm saying this, uh, I mean, Ubisoft was doing quite well. They had kind of nice announcement. They have SSN, Assassin's Creed Mirage. They have uh, uh, this, uh, they have the, the uh, yeah, what's the name? So the crew motor fast game and, and also uh, the X Defined. So in, in one of my l uh, last videos, I was also talking about that. I think X Defined as a free to play game and people like that beater and everyone was happy. This could be actually a real concurrent to, uh, to Fortnite and maybe also to Call of Duty, but uh, looking like this. Not good, not good, no good. So, is are these are those, are, or let's say, is this drop going to be a, an opportunity to get back in Ubisoft to buy a little bit more on Ubisoft? I would say everything is possible, but on the other hand, you have to know we are there where we started in May. So from May now to October, nothing has really changed. So, so I actually. I actually would expect that we drop down now to the 24, 5 uh, uh, euros so on the lower end uh, where we have been uh, end of 2022. And uh, I, I would not say uh, we dropped to the 18, uh, to the 18 euros. So for this, a lot of more negativity has to come than uh, maybe the new, uh, the new, the, the new game. Um, 
Oh, the Pandora's box, this, the title and the new Star Wars game. So if they would be, for example, delayed or if, if other games would be cancelled. And then also, of course, I want to see or I want to know how many Assassin's Creed Mirage have been sold. So that's also important. So if we're just looking here at Metacritic, game is, didn't come out on Steam. But we, if we look at Metacritic, we see on the PlayStation 5, overall a Critic Review 77. That's not good. Xbox 78 and PC 77. So user review 7.3. So it is straight, I would say, more or less a 75, a 70. Let's let's call it a 75 uh, uh, rated uh, game. So that's that's not so good. So that's that's average. So people people some some really like it that the game is back to the basics. Others say yeah, it's something is missing. It's not that fun. So therefore. Therefore, I would say, well, I haven't played it yet, so I cannot give my personal opinion there, but here we see just the, the overall the score. So I, I would say this makes sense, and it seems that people people are not saying it's one of the best games. So I don't like actually the back to the basics formula. I would prefer actually Odyssey and Origin. So, but hey, on this channel, we are not talking about we are not talking about the games directly. We talk actually more about the business. So this is the Ubisoft The Crew Motorfest on the road to success with biggest ever franchise launch. So I want to see actually a press release like this then about Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, there is no uh, press re release now like this. Uh, so, but probably in one, two weeks so, or in one month, let's say in one month, we might uh, see this. So here, ba -ba 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 -ba, we are thrilled. We are thrilled by the enthu enthusiastic response, which has broken all franchise records. And we want to thank community. So Ahmed Bokolehelifa, managing director, says, launch is only the beginning. We have planned regular updates with new themes and experiences and very strong post-launch support with a mix of free paid content for a long time to come. So. That's okay. I mean, it's like Horizon. Uh, so, therefore, uh, they hope to make uh, on the long end, they hope to make money with this. So, check out uh, ways on the Ubisoft investor page. You'll get uh, more information here. So, also on October 26, we're going to have the, the first uh, half sales and earnings. So, you can already mark this yellow in your calendar, guys. So, with that, I would say I set everything i wanted to tell you i mean that's a big big drop five percent after after having this really nice run upwards it really looked good already i was positive everyone was positive but yeah i mean it's a gaming company sometimes they just delay they cancel games and then this happens and hey we're still in this huge gaming market crash guys we're still in this gaming market crash and it's it's really takes time that it's getting better it's really takes time so i mean if you look at the overall chart it's still a disaster it's still a disaster so yeah this video was only for financial information and education not for uh, financial investment uh, guidance or uh, recommendations i'm not doing this so please 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 make your own research lose your own money and uh, never listen to a youtuber so probably if you would listen to a youtuber you would have bought here at 100 euros and then you would have sold at 40 euros and you would have bought again at 80 87 90 euros and you would have sold at 19 euros now you can calculate how much you uh, would have lost so i have to say this because some people think i give recommendations i don't do this so i'm just talking uh, what i do what mr orange is doing so what you do that's your own problem guys thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye